Super Position. Super Position is also got the name Constructive and Destructive Interference. Now, interference sounds like something's getting in the way, but it's kind of a bad name for this phenomenon because nothing is getting in the way. Superposition, also called constructive and destructive interference, is the following. When two waves meet at the same point in space and combine such that displacement of the medium is the sum of displacements of the original waves. Constructive interference is where a crest hits a crest, or a trough hits a trough, creating a larger crest or a larger trough. Destructive interference, by contrast, is where a crest hits a trough and the displacements cancel each other. So let's take a look at these phenomena. This one is what we call constructive interference. So I've got two waves coming online here. I'm going to stop it right here. What's going to happen when these two waves hit? Notice I've got a crest on the left and a crest on the right that's moving this way, crest on the left moving this way. What's going to happen when they hit? They're going to combine to form what? If two crests hit each other, they will form a larger crest. Let's watch what happens. They hit and boom, you get a giant crest. But notice that they still go right through each other. That's why interference is an unfortunate name because they don't interfere with each other. They don't block each other. They just go right through each other. But while they're going through, they combine to form a much larger crest. So I'm just going to show you right here. I'm going to stop it when they combine right there. If A is the amplitude, A1 is the amplitude of the wave on the left and A2 is the amplitude of the wave on the right, What's the amplitude of this? A1 plus A2. It's that simple. So that is a called constructive interference. They two crests form a bigger crest. Here's the live version of constructive interference. It's kind of hard to see unless you put it in slow motion, and then it's very easy to see. Two crests form a bigger crest. Now, let's check out destructive interference. Here's where we have a crest hitting a trough. Now they just happen to uh, make them triangular waves. It'll work with any wave, but this way is mathematically easier to calculate. So what's going to happen when this crest hits this trough? When they are exactly coincident, in other words, in the same exact space, what will we have when they combine? Let's find out. I'm going to send this through, and I'm going to stop it when they are exactly at the same spot. Whoops, got a backspace. There it is right there. Notice it appears like there's no wave at all. They're still there, but they are just canceling each other in that moment. So let me turn up the speed a little bit so we don't have to wait so long. Let's watch what happens again. This time I won't stop it. They run into each other. They cancel for one instant, but then they keep going through each other. Here's my question to you. At the instant where they're canceled out, well, actually, let's talk about this first. Right here, this is a spring. And right now, especially at that point, this, uh, at that point right there in the spring, all the energy is what form? At the point that actually is uh, instantaneously at rest right there, it's not gravitational potential energy. You can send one of these through space. Elastic potential energy. All the energy is in elastic potential energy. The spring is stretched right there and right there. But here's my question to you. What form is the energy in when it's right there? It's all kinetic. Now, I've got it stopped right now, so you can't see its kinetic energy. But I'm going to back it up, and you'll see... At that point, when they totally cancel, that's where the, the spring is moving the fastest. It's moving. So all the energy is kinetic energy at that point. So it goes from elastic potential energy to kinetic energy, and it's all kinetic energy at the instant that this crosses that line. So that is called destructive interference right there.
So they cancel each other instantaneously. Once again, the live version, destructive interference is even harder to see unless you put it in slow motion. What's important to see is that these do not reflect off of each other. They just go directly through each other. You can see that for one instant they cancel each other, but then they proceed right through each other. I'll stop action right at the instant they cancel each other so you can see that that is in fact happening right here. Again, interference, probably not the best word. Superposition is probably a better word. What happens when the two waves are at the same place at the same time?